Over the past couple of decades, permanent magnets have undergone a dramatic evolution. Iron bar magnets have evolved into a class of magnets known as rare earth magnets. These small disc magnets are remarkably powerful. Like all magnets, they have a north and south pole. You may recall that the opposite poles of a magnet attract, like poles repel, and that magnets only attract a few types of metal, iron, nickel, and cobalt. They don't attract copper, as demonstrated with this pile of copper pennies. These powerful rare earth magnets make it possible to demonstrate an important physics law, Lenz's law. To demonstrate this, we'll use the magnets stacked together and a length of copper pipe. Remember that the magnet is not attracted to the copper pipe, so if I hold the pipe vertically and drop the magnet into the pipe, it will fall out the bottom. Before we do that, I'm going to drop this non-magnetic bolt. It is about the same size as the stack of magnets. That was pretty fast. In my video editor, I counted 8 frames during the free fall. At 30 frames per second, 8 frames represents about a quarter of a second. Now, dropping the magnets, something very different happens. The magnets float down the pipe, taking a few seconds to travel this short distance. Again, from my video editor, I counted 55 frames at 30 frames per second, close to 2 seconds. Something impeded the magnet's fall. Remember, the magnets are not attracted to the copper pipe. I drilled holes in a pipe so we could observe the falling magnet. Obviously much slower than the non-magnetic bolt. This pipe is 1.5 meters long. Dropping the bolt, I find it travels the length of the pipe in approximately a half a second. Drop the magnet and we have a long wait. It takes over 12 seconds to reach the bottom. The explanation for this strange phenomenon isn't simple. But if you have viewed our videos on magnetism and electricity, you will know that electricity and magnetism are related. Electricity flowing in a coil of wire creates a magnetic field. Also, if you keep a magnet in motion close to a coil of copper wire, electricity will flow in the wire. Generators use this principle. When we drop the magnet into the copper pipe, the falling magnet and its accompanying magnetic field force electrons to start moving in the copper. This is an electric current. This current produces its own magnetic field. Interestingly, the magnetic field produced by this current opposes the magnetic field of the magnet. This magnetic force slows the magnet's descent. If you attempt to demonstrate this, be careful with the magnets. They are very powerful and can damage metal objects and electronic equipment. And they are small enough to be swallowed by a child. The science behind this phenomenon was first described in 1833 by physicist Heinrich Lenz. This description is known as Lenz's Law. Simply stated, it says, An electric current created by a changing magnetic field will create its own magnetic field opposing the magnetic field that created it. A dramatic demonstration of Lenz's law can be seen in the bizarre interaction of a permanent magnet and a superconductor. The magnet actually floats above the superconductor. Here's a challenge. 
Using only the material presented in this video, it is possible to determine if the magnet was accelerating while traveling down the pipe, or if it attained a terminal velocity. Here's a hint. Analyze the magnet traveling down the pipe with holes in it. The holes are equally spaced at 5 centimeters. We have more science and technology videos at our website, hyloroad.com. Follow the videos link.